Well, hello and welcome to Better Living Concepts. My name is Ryan and this is my wife, Janine. And we are starting the Better Living Concepts book club. This particular episode, uh, we're beginning the Sun Food Diet Success System. The Sun Food Diet Success System. This is by David Wolf. If you're familiar with his work at all, um, you'll know that he is one of the foremost um, experts on all things nutrition. And in fact, uh, he's branched out, and uh, you know he has his own farms on 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 the island of Hawaii, or on one of the islands in Hawaii. Uh, he grows avocados and and cacao and a bunch of other stuff. And so he's um, in my book. He's one of the um, one of the people that I have a high regard for, uh, a tremendous amount of respect. And this particular book of his, we stumbled across how long ago? Ten years, maybe? Maybe ten years ago. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of when we started our own kind of uh, diving into um, different different ways to improve the quality of our life. And so we, we've developed a library uh, over the years that um, it has a tremendous amount of information and so we thought it might be uh, a good time to actually go ahead and dive into these books with you uh, and hope that uh, you'll find some some value. Um, I highly recommend that you get this book. Uh, I believe they still have some available on Amazon. You can probably pick them up there for about 25, 30 bucks or something like that. Um, I also think, if I'm not mistaken, there is a free PDF download um, that if I can find that, uh, I'll put that in the link below. I'll, I'll drop that link below uh, if we can find that. Um, tonight, um, sorry, go ahead. So it's definitely a book that we've wanted to delve deeper into. We've started it so many times yeah. and skimmed over sections of it. And so we're really wanting to do a deep dive into it and do all the exercises that he yes. recommends. So we thought, what better way to do this than to record it <laughs> nice. and commit to each week. So that's yeah. what we're hoping that it's going to help us dive into this a little bit deeper. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to start with the introduction. Mm -hmm. We'll start there. And um, this is called A Word from the Author. The age of information is surrounding us and embracing us. Through the fantastic inf uh, information available to all of us through the internet, libraries, and transformed individuals, we now have the ability to create a whole new paradigm of health, wealth, happiness, success, prosperity, and possibility. It's my goal in this book to bring you up to speed on key transformational technologies, especially in the area of nutrition, now available to us all. Throughout these pages, we're going to participate together in an opening of opportunities that everywhere surround us. The material contained here is designed for all people, whether you're healthy, sick, searching, curious, looking for the next level, and or seeking success physically and spiritually. I cannot express how excited I am to present this information to all those interested in personal development and self-improvement. By availing yourself of this information, you fulfill your destiny. <clears throat> pardon me. You fulfill your destiny and simultaneously help fulfill my destiny of bringing the Sun Food Diet Success System to the world. How I came to write this book is an interesting story. Both of my parents are medical doctors. My father had a general practice, then became an osteopath over his 35-year career. My mother is an uh, anesthesiologist. As a child, I spent a lot of time at my parents' office. I used to play with my brothers beneath the chairs in the waiting room. I even used to travel with my dad on house calls. I've observed the inside of the medical profession with a unique perspective. What I noticed was that people over the long term did not get better taking medicine. Instead, they got worse. When I was about 10 years old, probably younger, I decided I was not going to take medicine anymore for any reason. And though I fought with my mother over this for many years, I did not submit. What I noticed was that when my two brothers and I would get sick, I would, be, I would only be sick for one or two days while their flus or colds would drag on for four or five days with, with the medication. I learned then to just rest and drink only freshly squeezed orange juice all day and soon I would feel better. 
that was a major squeezed, uh, I'm sorry, that was a major revelation <laughs> to me at that age and set me on a path that would markedly transform my destiny. In my late teens, I found that I was reacting to certain foods. I finally narrowed it down to dairy products. So without really knowing anything about nutrition at that time, I cut out dairy products completely. I immediately lost 10 pounds and felt amazingly better. I soon reached a point where I um, would not eat any food that contained any dairy products whatsoever, even if it was the 10th ingredient. It was, a, it was the discipline of completely letting go of all dairy products which set up a blueprint for more dietary progress. Therein I learned a valuable lesson. All disciplines affect each other. A powerful discipline can transfer over from one area of your life to any other area. Fortunately, I had been turned, to self, turned on to self-help, personal development, and spiritual literature at the age of 14 and somehow was graced to have an insight that reading could help un unveil the magic of the universe. After letting go of all dairy products, I started to read every book and listen to every audio tape in the field of nutrition that we had at my house. I quickly found the book Fit for Life by Marilyn and Harvey Diamond that confirmed what I knew about the danger of pasteurized dairy products. I adopted the Fit for Life diet and gradually moved over to a vegan diet by eliminating animal products from my life. The vegan lifestyle contains no animal foods or products which impact animal lives. But I kept reading. I kept searching. All of my life, I could not escape the feeling that I was missing something, overlooking something, so obvious it had managed to escape me. Ever since the earliest days I could remember, I had a sense that I would one day stumble onto some great secret. Obviousness seemed to be the key. Like the ancient allegory of the gods on Mount Olympus, when the world was new, the gods on Mount Olympus enriched the earth with the animals, the creatures of the sea, the plants, and all living things. Hereafter, my many eons of time, after many eons of time, the gods at last looked upon those curious humans tampering with the forest and gardens of the world. They decided they would hide the secret of life until humans had grown and evolved in consciousness to the point where they would be ready for it. The gods on Mount Olympus argued about where the secret of life should be hidden. One said, let us hide it upon the tallest mountain. They shall never find it there. The goddess replied, humans have insatiable curiosity and ambition. They will eventually climb the tallest mountain. Then the other goddess suggested, we would hide the secret of life at the bottom of the deepest ocean. You don't understand, said a god. Humanity is a boundless, has a, a boundless imagination and a potent desire to explore the world. Sooner or later, they will reach even the greatest ocean depths. Finally, a goddess came up with a solution. Let us hide the secret of life in the last place humans would ever look, a place they will only come to when they have exhausted all other possibilities and are finally ready. And where is that? asked the gods. To which the goddess replied, we will not hide it at all. Through reading I found out about raw food nutrition. When I first discovered that one could live on raw plant food, it was a revelation to me. It resonated with me, with, with me at my core. It sent chills throughout my body. Within three months of eating raw foods, I knew I had found a great key that could open and create many doors. I felt as if a great secret of the ages had been revealed. For me, it was the earth-trembling discovery. I knew this was the way for me to achieve my maximum potential. I knew instantaneously that it was my mission to bring this message to the world. I knew in that sparkling moment that I could and would revolutionize the personal development world with this information. I saw massive potential within three words, raw plant food is a major key to unlocking humanity's dormant powers. I quickly found that this wonderful truth was not so evident to other people, and again I learned a great lesson. The greatest truths of the world, the ones which have shaken civilizations to their core, always appear insignificant to many other observers. Mm. But to the discoverer, the philosopher, that truth is priceless. To the one who has acted upon that truth, and taken a new vantage, everything is clear and obvious. Through experience, 
a guess becomes knowledge. Spe speculation becomes certainty. Part of the true world reveals itself, and that in itself is a revelation. I found out that just knowing to eat raw plant foods is not enough. Variety is critical. Peer pressure steps in. Breaking addictions plays a role. The proper mindset is important. Detoxification is a factor. As our I'm sorry, as our emotions and balance. After many years of experimenting, reading, and communicating with thousands of others on this path of eating raw plant foods, I finally perfected what I call the Sun Food Diet Success System and wrote the first edition of this book that was in the summer and autumn of 1998. The release of the Sun Food Diet Success System radically transformed my life. Book and lecture tours followed in early 1999 and continued unabated for years. The book attracted absolutely amazing people, events, and circumstances. So many beautiful moments filled my days. Profound teachings f uh, found my ears. Adventures abounded in exotic locations all over the world. Soon began the manifestation of a long dream to drum in a band, uh, to drum in a band now called the Healing Waters Band. And the success of this book helped expand our online health food store sunfood.com, which I helped operate with a team of outstanding individuals. I feel so graced and fortunate for all of these awesome gifts, all brought by this book. As you read through these pages, my hope is that you find yourself discovering the tremendous importance of this message for the future of the world. This information allows the earth to heal and prosper. You may find new wonder and hope you may perceive that your life can be transformed in a most profound way. At this moment, I am overcome with the emotion of gratitude for having reached the level of health I have been blessed to experience and for having the opportunity to present this health information to you. Thank you for choosing this book. I invite you as a guest into a new realm of possibility. I wish you the greatest prosperity. Have the best day ever. David Avocado Wolf. January of 2008. That is so cool. Yeah. So we actually, okay, Burn Living Concept, I think it was about 2004. That's when we hatched the idea yes, originally. Yeah. yeah, so wow. So that was, his first edition was 1998. 1998. Okay. That was really inspiring. Yeah. Yeah? What, uh, what touched you in that? Well, towards the end there, the fact that this book changed his life and this paragraph here where it says that he, um, so many beautiful moments filled my days, you know, the book itself attracted so many amazing people, events and circumstances, um, adventures abounded in exotic locations all mm -hmm. over the world. And then he got to start his band too, yeah. or, you know, play in his band. Yeah. Um, but the concept of the truth being hidden in plain sight, mm -hmm. right? That really stuck with me yeah um, cutting out all dairy foods and that there's magic and power in the raw yeah right that's good um, I'm with you on that you know in terms of that paragraph where yeah. he's talking about all the benefits of what transpired but that didn't happen overnight mm -mm. that took years of decidedly committed um, effort mm -hmm. right so I think that the lesson for that to me is that you know regardless if you're if you're operating in the in the arena of health or joy or wealth um, you know you, you often see the the experts in the field that have courses or whatever that and it always seems like you know the the impression is that this happened so quickly for them mm -hmm. right but the reality is there's a lot of work that goes into it yeah right but once you push past and you've overcome, mm -hmm. all of these things then open up to you. Yeah. Right? All of these, it, it's, in essence, it's kind of the idea of the law of attraction, mm -hmm. where you are operating in the realm, right? Yeah. You are, you are intentionally engaging with the material mm -hmm. and consuming it mm -hmm. and producing it. Mm -hmm. And so in that way, you are molding and shaping towards a certain yeah. key event that will take place yeah. and once that takes place you kind of open yeah, yeah. it opens the world so cool all right yeah. 
want to stop that and we'll start next chapter. Yeah.